So you're out in the backyard pool, you want to have your tunes, but you know, stuff gets wet, it's a pain, you got your kid, be your grandson playing in the pool, he's having a good old time. You got to have your tunes, you're going to come to a booth with uh, Jay Lent, and what is the name of the company again? Uh, MWA. MWA, yep. and he's got a uh, turquoise kind of greenish sphere in his hand. Yep. And colors. two different sizes. This yep. is audio and video, which is why I'm describing what you're holding. So what the heck is this thing? So this is called the uh, Cannonball Max. So this is a fully submersible, self-stabilizing Bluetooth speaker. Has true wireless technology in it, so you can actually pair two speakers together. 100-foot Bluetooth range and six to eight hours of playtime. So you said you just throw this in the pool? Yes. If you throw it in a pool, it's going to automatically come to the surface. This half stays underwater. This, stays, uh, this half stays above water. So we can play with this ball? Absolutely. Throw it around if you want. Wow. And uh, uh, how far is it rated down? How deep can you go? You can go uh, 30 meters up to 30 minutes. Okay. So that's IPX7. IPX7. Yep. Fully submersible. So it looks like it's got some buttons on the side here. Just yep, your basic play Yeah, we have full LED. Box. You can actually change the different colors of the LED on here. Volume controls. Uh, shuffle control so you can move your music along if you want. You can control from your phone as well. With the 100 foot Bluetooth range, it gives you a lot of flexibility. You make it sound like this is easy, but I've never seen anybody it do is. this. Nobody's ever done it in this form factor. There's been some waterproof speakers and things you can submerge, but nothing ever been that's been floatable. I mean, this like is this. a ball. You just you're yep. inviting us to play with it. We'll play a little bocce ball with it. Oh, there you right? go. So the big one is uh, how much is the big one? The MSRP on the large is $79.99, and then the smaller version is going to be $49.99. That is not be bad at end all. Q1, early Q2. Very good. And what's it called? It's Cannonball. Cannonball. Yep. All right. Now we're going to switch over to uh, Joseph uh, Uziel. Let me get on the other side over here. And what have you got to show us? Um, so this is a wireless charging power bank. Um, this one is 3,000 milliamps. This one is 6,000 milliamps. Basically what it does, it's, uh, it's a wireless charging power bank um, with a little sticky adhesive over here. Um, so you could just put it on your phone and it'll stick over there for you. So if you're using it, it's just very convenient. Um, so so to, to the people who are just listening to this, it's basically a, a maybe a half an inch thick, a little smaller than the phone, and it just sticks to the back of the phone. It's got a nice uh, yeah, no soft wires. touch to it, no wires. No wires in oh, that's interesting. So that's the, the thing you throw in your backpack, right? Mm -hmm. It's, now, it's that, Qi certified. Oh, okay, so it's Qi. So uh, it's got a sticky surface there. That's going to get all gunked up though, right? So all you got to do is get a damp cloth, wash it right off, and it's back to normal. Okay, and then you've got something to protect it if you want. Exactly. When you throw it in your backpack, I would recommend this little silicone flap. It comes right off the front, and it just covers the back. And it's sticky, so it'll... That's it'll very stand. cool. So uh, what is this called? This is wireless charging power bank for now. It's still in development. It hopefully will be ready within 30 to 60 days. Okay. Yes. Uh, let's see. Let me switch back over to Jay. I'm spinning around. Sure. So if people want to learn more about can Cannonball and the wireless charging bank, where would they go? Go to gosilo.com. And that's spelled? G-O-C-Y-L-O.com. Very good. Thank you All very right. much. Thanks, guys.